Matrix, Star Trek Beyond. This is the only Star Trek movie I have on Blu-ray, sadly. Um, this is my favorite of the recent three. I mean, I like the first one. It's good. It's a good reboot. Um, alternate universe. Um, I do not like Into Darkness very much. There's things in it I like. Benedict Cumberbatch does a very good job at playing whoever that is. It's not gone. Um, Mikado. I can't. It was just a remake of Wrath of Khan with like some slight changes. And there was just like, mm -hmm. and there was not enough Bones. Bones is my favorite character from the original Star Trek. Will always be my favorite character from the original Star Trek show, movie, all that. So that was a big issue for me. There was not enough Bones, Kirk, and Spock, or even Bones, Spock, chilling. And there's three. It's not just about Kirk and Spock. It's Kirk and Spock. So this <laughs> made me very happy that Spock and Bones got to have way more to do. And that uh, my other problem with Into Darkness was there was not enough Chekhov. And I was worried for him most of the time because they made him put on a red shirt and everybody knows, except for Scotty, you never, no character lives who wears a red shirt. And I knew they were not going to hurt Chekhov. <laughs> and I, the, the first thing was there was not enough bones. And the second thing I said after Into Darkness was there needs to be more Chekhov in the next one. And they delivered both both more Chekhov and more Bones and then Anton died before this movie came out and I was a big fan of Anton Yelchin like before Star Trek since Charlie Bartlett maybe even Hearts of the Minus is that what it's called? I think that's what it's called when he was really little and I was in the city or something and when I heard about it so I didn't want to get super emotional during my day out and then the next day I was home and I just started crying. Hard crying. Because he's, I think he's a year or two older than me. Like, not very older, much older, so it was just awful. And then this movie came out and it was beautiful. And Leonard had died and I sobbed when Leonard Nimoy died. Because he's, he was not just Spock, but just <laughs> so much more in my life without ever meeting him. I know, his direction, his photography, his kindness, all that. And then this movie came out. And it's like an old school slash next gen episode. And it just was wonderful in it. And it's it's good. It's funny. There's adventure. Yeah, it's a little, some parts were like, well. Um, but it's the most Star Trek. And Simon Pegg and uh, Doug Young. Young. I'm so bad at pronouncing it. Um, wrote a beautiful movie, and Justin Lin did a great job. And we got original colors, Kirk, and we got just lots of great stuff. Watch it. I do one, the, another one. Um, I need all of them. I have. Um, I am blue, right? I don't know if my original. Six on Blu ray or not. I think they are, so I may update this. Well, I'm probably gonna update my list anyways because I got two new Blu rays that I have to do that are not in alphabetic order when it comes out, but it's okay. But check it out, it's good. Is it perfect? No, but it's better than Into Darkness and a bit better than the first one with these guys in it. 